before recognizing Dr. Paul for a statement, I want to note that uh, this may be his last uh, last uh, committee meeting with the chairman of the Fed, Federal Reserve. Uh, and throughout his time in office, uh, Dr. Paul has been a consistent and strong uh, advocate for sound monetary policy and his leadership on the committee, especially during these hearings when we've had the Federal Reserve Chairman appear before us, uh, have certainly made the hearings more interesting and uh, provided several memorable YouTube moments. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, thing. could I unanimous consent just to say that having served for a long time with Ron Paul, with whom I agree on, on a number of issues. Uh, I am very pleased that I was able to serve one term with him as the chairman because there were times during our joint service when despite his seniority, I thought he'd never get to it. So I'm glad that he finally achieved that chairmanship that he should have had long ago. Thank you, thank you. Your comments, uh, uh, chairman and the ranking member. But I am delighted to be here today, but I just want to refresh a few people's memory. I was first elected to Congress in 1976 in April in a special election, and the biggest bill on docket at that time was the revamping of the IMF. There was a major crisis going on from the breakdown of the Bretton Woods Agreement, and they had to rewrite the laws. They wanted to conform the laws with what they had been doing for five years, and that was a, a major piece of legislation. But it was only a consequence of what was predicted in 1945, because when 19 45 established the Bretton Woods, it was predicted by the free market economists it wouldn't work, it would fail, and this whole idea that they could uh, uh, regulate exchange rates.